I don't know how much you've been able to look across social media in the past like 24 hours, but the impact the pair of you have made has spread across the globe. You're looking at people in Great Britain giving you the comparisons of Torvald and Dean and everything no. like that as well. How does it feel that... I mean, you've talked a lot about representing Canada, but it's the impact you're also making to so many people across the globe. I was seeing people saying, for these next three, four minutes, I'm Canadian. I'm nothing else in the world but being Canadian because oh, wow. they wanted oh, to support yeah. you guys. How does that sort of reflect you now? That's incredibly touching no and kidding. wonderfully heartwarming. We're so grateful for that support. And it's always a great thing for our sport when people can connect, um, connect to a performance, connect to a story. Um, you know, there are so many great storylines that come out of an Olympic Games, and, and that's what we love about it as fans. Um, you know, we'll be tuning in and cheering on all of the other our teammates and, and watching the rest of the events, and, and we'll be those people then, <laughs> you know, just enraptured by what the athletes are doing. But it means a lot to us. You know, we, we've been so invested in our material this year. We love, we love the characters we get to play on the ice. We love our programs. We love our product. And... Um, hopefully the emotions we're portraying are, are universal and they resonate with people. Um, you know, we only have three and four minutes to, to make people feel something and to bring them into our world for a few moments and, and potentially escape. And, and it's been thrilling to do so on the world's biggest stage and we feel grateful for that opportunity. And, and thank you to everyone for, for tuning in and cheering us on. Um, with, with the Torval and Dean thing, I mean... As Tessa said, it's, we're just honored to be in the same sentence as them, but we're able to have the opportunities that, that we have because of, of teams like that. I mean, I, I think their story is so different than ours, but um, the reason why we maybe don't put ourselves in that same sentence as them is because they've given our sport so much credibility. And what their Olympic movement, moment has done for ice dance is, uh, has given it such credibility. So we have nothing but respect and, uh, for them and, and for all the champions that have come before us. I mean, we're pretty proud of, uh, to be ice dancers and you know, it, to be able to have that mixture of athleticism and art. And um, you know, the sport has to evolve. You know, hopefully there will be some, some teams that come up that uh, take a little bit of what we've done, like, like we have of watching tapes of Torval and Dean and uh, Mary France and Patrice and, and great teams that come before us and um, they can continue on. It's, uh, we need to get faster, stronger, better. We can't wait to see what happens. When I was going into my free program yesterday, I was terrified all day. Um, that program has been super strong in practice and I wanted to be able to show that program as best as it could. Skating after Alina, I knew that I was going to hear a really high score and that was going to test my abilities on how much I could stay focused. Um, but I, I was very much prepared for it and when I got into my starting position, I knew it was what I could do. Once my music started, I felt completely at home. All the nerves went away. I felt in control. I felt strong. I was very much ready to push until the end of the program. When I made the small mistake on my LUTs, I did a mental whack in the head and said, okay, we're not going to lose it now. I was um, going strong and I wanted to have two clean skates. And that's exactly how I felt. And at the end of my program, I was enjoying so much of it, performing that program the best that I possibly could here. And... I knew that it didn't matter what the placement was at the end of that competition. I wasn't going to be happier than I was in that moment. <laughs> I definitely skated a lot better than I did in Sochi. Um, I was very much just happy-go-lucky in Sochi and skated just because I could. And here I had a goal in mind. I had a goal that I wanted to be my best. I wanted to fight to make it onto the podium. I wanted to be a part of Team Canada in that gold medal. And I fought with everything I had for that. I don't think my mom has yet stopped crying. Um, I could vaguely see her crying when I was on the podium at the rink. And then I could see her crying on the podium last night. And when I saw her, she was um, still crying. So I think it's just an inevitable amount of tears right now. I did. Um, 
Yeah, it was super, super good feeling just standing up there and hearing the national anthem and looking over at my family and they're all crying, making me cry. And um, it felt like once I landed my run, like a huge weight was lifted off my shoulders and then to get this one put back on was pretty nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I've just been carrying it around with me and everybody keeps wanting to see it and it's just, it's overwhelming. It's an awesome feeling. Even before the final, I was saying that I wanted to showcase to the world what women can do in the half pipe. And just to take a victory lap of straight airs is just not my style. So I wanted to keep pushing it and do a bigger run and up my own score. But at the top of the pipe, um, Trent and my coach, kind of we both realized at the same time that I had won. And he started tearing up and I started tearing up and I was like, hey, I can't hug you anymore because I'm going to cry and I need to stay focused. And then obviously lost my focus a little bit on the second hit. But yeah, it was an incredible feeling. Fell, looked back up the pipe and was like, I'm, I won. I'm okay. It's, it's fine. And still went down and did that 10 at the bottom just because it's a show and you got to give the people what they want, you know? So, uh, yeah, it was awesome. From when Sarah Burke was pushing the sport and pushing amplitude and pushing for equal pay for women and all that, the sport's just grown exponentially. And um, we all wouldn't be here without Sarah. But also, I feel like yesterday, we all pushed each other. Like, I think the level of riding yesterday was the highest it's been at any contest. I'd love to go see hockey, the women's hockey. Um, I'd also, I think I'd like to go see curling because it's just something I would never do outside of the Olympics. Um, and just go check out the coastal village, go to the Canada house and just have some fun. <laughs>